everyone here in this video we're gonna be learning about navigation this is something which we have been practicing in the previous videos but here i'm just going to be specific to this and i'm going to uh, explain it in a little more detail and i'm going to tell you specific uh, you know uh, the specifications of the navigation rather i can say all right so uh, this will be when we talk about navigation there are three sort of navigation in here first one is parent to child navigation to which you can also say downward navigation okay then it comes child to parent or you can also say that upward navigation then the third one which is very interesting that comes child to child navigation okay means if there are two parallel childs then moving from one child to another child then it comes or, or rather you can say it sibling navigation or maybe you can also say that horizontal navigation now you must be thinking why we all require this okay and what the hell this navigation is now let me try to explain you with the help of example till then just have some patience and stay with the video don't switch it off okay <laughs> all right now moving forward over here to understand navigation in a better way let me first explain you about the html tree so this is a very basic tree for html all right i mean i would not say it's very basic but yeah it's kind of basic one so the tag which you see at the topmost that's the parent tag okay that will be called as parent tag then what comes after that in vertical sequence all those will be referred as child of each other right so inside HTML you see head and body so head and body are the child of HTML then again you see these sets right so these are the the tags which you see in the third row are the child of second row and grandchild of first row similarly you know second row is the child of first row and parent of third row now if you talk about this pair so these two pairs will be called as siblings so whatever tags are in parallel those are known as siblings and over here these two are also parallel so between both of these two they will be called sibling now you must be thinking about the parent of their these two you know siblings which is body and head so if you see these two are siblings also between themselves I just hope that it is pretty clear to you it's very simple whatever tags are inside the other tag so whatever tags are inside the other one so where I mean how do I put it right uh, so let's say if there is a tag which contains some other tags inside it so container will be called as parent of whatever it contains okay I just hope that it is clear okay now let's think about our actual script so this is a very basic html script which i have created to just help you understand now if you see the topmost right topmost is the html tag like you can see over here this one and this one here it is starting and here it is closing okay so this this is the topmost and the topmost parent over here now inside this if you notice there are three pair of tags one two and this three so these three are the child of this particular parent okay but these three are sibling between themselves or among themselves so these three are sibling among themselves but the child of this particular parent now if you consider this head inside that you can see there there is one more tag so this is the child of this head tag similarly if you see over here this is one tag sorry please bear with this and then this is the other tag oops these two tags so these two between themselves right will be sibling but it will be child for this paragraph tag so i just hope that it is clear to you now the point comes to navigation right so i'll just make it a little bigger so for example if you want to access this particular content or this particular item starting all over from here so you will have to start from html and if you come to this then this will be called as downward because we here we are coming from 
top to bottom all right so this will be downward navigation now let's consider that starting from this right you want to access this particular string right starting from this one so the your direction will be something like this and this will be called as upward navigation now let's consider about this particular string to which you want to access starting from here so if you see this one like i explained previously and this one these two are sibling between themselves right so this will be called horizontal navigation like i just cleared that these are sibling so it has to be parallel right though here it is looking vertical and we are coming top to bar bottom it appears that we are coming top to bottom but actually they are in parallel to each other right because they are under this html tag right so this two will be called sibling and navigating from one to another will be known as horizontal navigation now this is the theory now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and try to explain you with practical examples all right so here we're gonna be in the jupyter notebook here i'm just importing the basic libraries which are needed and here is the basic html script which i have created and you know the best part about jupyter notebook is this is also working as a uh, sorry html ide so if i just hit enter this is creating some kind of web page okay so just see over here so why we are understanding the navigation for example let's say if you have to extract this particular thing so you should be aware how can you reach over here i understand previously we have seen that we can directly say soup dot a so this will give this right but if you say dot a that will give you the first one what if you want to extract only second one okay so there there this navigation technique has to be understood okay now if i just hit enter this is going to work show you as some web page interface right now here i have kept that string html string as a string itself right which i will be doing the parsing okay now if you see over here I have imported beautiful soup from BS4 library and I have given the alias BS. So just keep that in mind. Whenever I use BS, that means I am trying to use beautiful soup. All right. So here I will create a soup for this. And inside that, what I'm going to do is this HTML string I have stored in this particular variable, which is called my page. Right. And I will just put it inside this and then I'm going to call a parser. Here I will be using HTML dot parser. HTML parser I am trying to use over here, right? And I'll print the soup. How is it looking? Right? So you see over here now we have the HTML parsed, right? And we have it showing over here. Now, if this is something which is not giving you the better clarity, which what which tag contains which tags, then there is a very best option uh, which is called prettify. Let me just try to auto complete this. Let it auto complete this. Okay. Oops. Looks like it's gonna take a little longer. All right. It just worked. Oops. Please bear with me. This is something stupid. Pretty fine. Let me do this, and I will have to print this particular thing now. You see, this is printed twice. Pretty fine and here i'm going to say soup all right and i'll enclose this and i'll try to print this so well now if you see over here right over here this is very clearly showing that which tag is under which tag okay so like everything is under html and this bold tag this is style tag this is under head so similarly and so on right so for now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep it simple right and here we go now our problem statement is to fetch this particular part all right so there are multiple ways let's try to go through this one by one so to fetch this what we're going to do is first we're going to figure out where is this residing right 
so this is under a tag a tag is under p now if we see there are two p's two paragraphs all right and this paragraph is reciting under html so let's start from html html all right so in html what we gonna do is we gonna look for p what happened let's figure it out h oops sorry html is inside soup so soup dot html so when we do this here we get everything which is available in the soup which is very much similar to what we have over here now under html what we need to access is paragraph so when you do this it is giving you the same uh, i mean this first paragraph only all right this is giving you the first paragraph but we need to reach to this particular one so we will have to go through this sibling so till here we did the downward navigation now we will be doing the horizontal navigation so for that we're gonna say next sibling let's try and print this sorry here there is a spelling error so here it is giving me an which is nothing but the new line tag so again i am going to say next sibling so let's see what it gives us it is taking a lot of time i'll just pause it okay we got this so here we got the div now let's again do this next sibling i know this is little pathetic right but i'm just trying to explain you the downward navigation all right again next sibling all right so if you see here we got this okay now under this we need to fetch this particular string right so under next sibling which we got is paragraph now under that you need to access the a tag right like we can see this is under a tag so when you access a tag this will give you again the first one now under that again you're gonna say next sibling So again all right so here i did twice next sibling okay now if you do this then what you get is this thing right under a tag you need to access this particular attribute in previous video i explained you that each of the tags has certain attributes uh right so that you're gonna access how can you access that in that let's say href and let's try to print this here we got that right so we got this one so we just saw that how we did the downward navigation starting from here till here it was downward navigation then starting from here till here till here this was again horizontal navigation which is sibling to sibling then again from here from here till here it was downward then again starting from here till here it was horizontal right and then this was the downward selection now let's think about the upward selection for example i want to access this particular string right this particular string how can we do that so to do that you might say look what we can do is we can again start from here and we can reach to this point right but don't you think it's gonna be long way so the best way is say soup dot a tag let's find this okay so here we got this particular a tag okay here now we just need to look for its parent immediate parent right so i can say parent and just hit enter so here we got that this particular string now if you want to keep that text only so we can say this all right or maybe you can see it this is giving you the all uh, text which you have available in right over here okay so we require this particular thing right we needed this particular thing so that is coming over here 
now click here to check out the channel where is this this one so it is giving you everything which you have in this particular tag right let's try to figure out if it gives us the string no strings is not working all right so here it will work and for that you're gonna do list right so here you got all those things now what you can do is over here you can just take first element so here you got that right what you are looking for is this one so for that sorry please bear with me now let's see third one this support some of the this one this one and all right let's see zero ha huh. so zeroth one you need to access and then that you will get okay so i just hope that it was clear to you this navigation was clear to you and helpful to understand this is how we do the downward horizontal and upward selection okay so it i tried to keep it simple just in case if you have any doubt put that into the comment section i'll definitely try to clarify it to you until then happy learning wish you very all the best